All right, all right, all right, everyone. My name is Echo Tango, and welcome back to Starbath. Previously, we got ourselves some treasure trophies, and we started to build our very own space station. And now today, we are going to be finding ourselves some glitch clues, as you can see up here with this mission log. Now, anyways, as always, let's take a look and see what um, off-camera work yielded us today. So first, we got ourselves actually this gnome. Was it gnome cap, gnome hat? House hat, building hat, and some ball of gnomes. I actually found these all at in a so-called it's like a like a mini village that you can find underground. And you can see these little tiny houses, and you can smash them and get um, all these pixels. And you even have a chance to find these sort of vanity items. But a lot of times you'll actually get these throwable items. I don't know how these work. Oh, okay, that's kind of horrifying. But um, and of course, now I should mention the reason why I did. Uh, I got all this sort of stuff from off-camera work because actually I was doing a lot and I mean a lot of mining for my space station Sadly, it's not complete yet. I would like to show you the space station one day But when it's complete then I'll show you But like I was saying of course um, A lot of mining down on all sorts of different planets um, You'll be a lot of off-camera a lot of rewards because I have to come across like mini biomes and find chests and other things. So that's why I have all these. Um, Hunter's Trousers. I can't remember where I got that from. Um, alien Skull. Skeletal Wings. I honestly can't remember where I got those either. No, I think it was some sort of like a, a bone mini biome underground as well. This pilot's backpack I actually did while completing a mission. Or, well, it was actually like a NPC or villager side quest. I, I thought that was pretty cool. That's what it looks like when I'm wearing it. Yeah, um, I bought this combat medic chest, so now I actually have the full combat medic set, the full armor set, so that's pretty nice. Got some more um, augments, but I mean, I already got my augment. Uh, except, actually, I will hold on to one of these because I would like to upgrade to the cooling EPP as well. I also found these legendary um, vanity pieces, this captain's cap and the Groucho glasses. See what happens when I put them on. <laughs> Don't I look pretty interesting? Now I actually had a tough time when I first decided when I first got the captain's cap. Should I should I wear that instead, or should I wear the peacekeeper hat instead? Let me know in the comments below which one you prefer, and then that'll be the one I go with. But for right now, it'll be the peacekeeper hat. I also found this fluorescent helmet in some sort of bioluminescent biome underground. That's what that looks like. Pretty interesting. And and I also got myself two recipes. This also came from the bioluminescent mini biome. Learn to craft glow table. <clears throat> and I found this as well. Learn to craft clog. <clears throat> I'm not actually sure where you can make that. Let's see. Is it. No. Wait. Weapons. Clog love, yeah. <clears throat> it's interesting because you remember this is one of the things you can make a Biggie's reputable weaponry. But if you happen to find the re find the blueprints for these sort of things, you can actually make them right here on your ship or wherever your wherever your accelerator's table or craft or this particular crafting table happens to be. So that was a lucky find. I just don't think I'll ever need to make that. But anyways, I'm gonna go store those other things away, and I need to go take a look what the cooling EPP requires. Okay, so I have all that. I need a battery and a cryonic extract. Uh, let's just go ahead and make those now since I can. Battery requires four copper wire. Four copper wire and a cryonic extract. Okay, let's see here. Battery. Alright. Nope, not that. Alright. Cooling EPP upgrade. Forge. This upgrade adds cool air generation to your EPP's capabilities. Helpful on dangerously hot planets. Which, if you remember a while back, Esther did mention that's where we'll find a lot of glitch settlements. Or most common place to find glitch settlements. So now I got the cooling EPP. What does it look like on my back? Okay, so that's what it looks like on my back. That's cool. And then, because it automatically takes away your augment from, from previous times, let's just go ahead and put this on. Sweet. And now we're going to go and put these other items away. Alright, let's see here. Because I just remembered, this the combat medic chest 
So that is a set on its own. I'll just put that in there. I'll move things around, of course. Combat. Let's see here. Uh, put these in. Put this in. Wait, hold on a second. No, no, no. No, no, take back the hats. I always take back the hats. Hats. H Eddie Hatwear. Headwear. That goes to a particular place, I just remembered. Uh, and everything else can go in there. Okay, everything, now, now this is where all the headwear goes. I remember, like I said, I'm, I'm just gonna do or, I'm just gonna do more organizing work. Eventually. Eventually. All right, that looks that looks good. Oops. Put this in here as well. Put the medic combat set somewhere else, like there, of course. And let me put those augments. Wait, throwables in there. And a few other things too, maybe. Okay, let's see. I don't have a lot of room for augments, but that's all I got. All right. Now, since I have that taken care of, let's go ahead and start searching for some glitch clues. Um, actually, remember, the, remember that glitch castle that I keep going back to every now and then? Well, that's got some glitch clues. Now, also, another thing I should mention. Um, you do notice that some, some of the bars filled. Well, I started getting tenants in my space station, and some of them were glitched. Just talking to them, and I think you've probably seen this when I was searching for floor clues as well. Just talking to um, NPCs of the same race for lengthy amounts of time, you'll actually build up that bar. You'll actually gain some clues that way as well. Very small amounts, but it works. Anyways, where's the glitch castle? Glitch evil, evil desert fortress. All right, so let's go ahead and search around. For some clues. Okay. This black woven banner is trying very hard to be menacing. I don't think there's anything else, is there? Small torch spits embers. Okay. Looks like a wind street lamp. Another banner. This black woven banner is trying very hard to be menacing. And same with this one. A moody colored banner that can be placed anywhere. Oh, free. <sighs> It. Easily to get damage around here, isn't it? Small. If this were a video game, this might fall down and crush someone. Hmm, what else? A giant cauldron. I hope there are no witches around. This table is in poor condition. Hmm. If you told this, if you told the stock a funny joke, it'd be a laughing stock. <laughs> I'm hilarious. I would not want to be on the receiving end of this thing. The guillotine. Yeah, I don't think anyone would want to either. Last thing to be there. And interestingly enough, I don't know if I showed you this before. Yeah, you can sleep in that thing. That's horrifying. But you can. Now again, when it comes to searching for clues, if I don't find enough clues here, we'll go to another place, and that's where the... Uh, Hot planets would come into play, you can say. First of all, where the heck am I going? Good question. Right now, there's not a whole lot. Wait, there's no glitch up here. Oh, hostile, eh? Too bad. Let me check this. Yes, I have. Okay. Now, in other news, um, I actually got myself a brand new monitor for my for my current laptop setup. It's not a whole lot, but but now, because I got this monitor, I can see a lot more. I wonder if there's a gateway to another world in here. Um, and it's just it's just much better visually, and I and also I can also have my setup so that my um, microphone is actually right in front of me instead of to the side. So it'll it it makes it's a small difference in sound pickup, but it it's a it's still a di it's still a good difference. Okay. An oil gear seems like it's a bit rusty though. These old these old kind of furnace used to produce big, hefty weapons. An anvil. Humans haven't used these since early in their history. And something here. Barely sharp enough to cut cheese. 
Hmm, I wonder. Something else here? A sharp a shop sign for Blacksmith's Forge. A sign for a farm shop. A writing desk. The surface is covered in spotted ink. A pretty low pendulum clock. The pendulum swings, but time doesn't seem to change. Anything else of significance around here? Oh, wait. Oh, that was close, man. Woo, that was close. Alright, let's see what else. The globe of a world that's nothing like this one. Keep it up, dear. This is all very helpful. Thank you. Looks like some kind of trading dummy. Swordplay, perhaps. Nothing else here. Okay, there's something up there. I don't remember what's down here, though. Wait, there's something. Actually, I don't remember ever going down here. Well, this is just great. <laughs> nice joke there, my friend. I actually don't remember ever coming over here. Hmm. Or have I? That barrel's empty. Yeah, I never came down here, did I? Axe display. Interesting. This will certainly have a bearing on my research. Apparently, just collecting these items will also help you gain some clues. A barrel, fit for storing food and materials. Oh yeah, of course. That guy's gonna chase me? Yeah, he's gonna chase me. Of course he's gonna chase me. Oh, there's nothing else here. Huh. Nice little area of water, I can say so. I can say so myself. That's what's supposed to be on. Let's see what else we got around here in this coach castle that I can't remember. Okay. Seems like wooden scaffolding. Not sure how safe it is. There's a trap here. This side is worried about something dangerous nearby. Maybe I should be wary. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, come on, come on, get up there. There we go. Oh, I got something here. It appears to be some sort, some kind of owl mac. The illustrations here are lots of different people. How to kill? But surprising information can be even more valuable than expected information. Anything else? Is there another thing that I missed over there? Let's see. Hmm, no, not particularly. Wait, there's a knight up here! But he actually got me that time. And I did miss some things up here. There's always more you can explore up here. I'm getting all sorts of furniture right now. And, yeah. Because the glitch castles go up high, even just exploring them once, you're probably not, probably gonna easily miss some things. So, I'm doing just as exploration as you guys are watching the exploration. <laughs> So, going back up here, Nightfall, of course, Sacks of Flower, anything of significance here, nah, hmm, <laughs> nothing really. Okay, some platforms, gotta be careful. Can you go up there? I wonder if you can. To another side. Ooh, chess pieces. A huge chess piece. And these look like they're custom made pieces. This chess table is curious. The pieces are all hand carved, made by a skilled individual. The design is somewhat idiosyncratic. I wonder what its provenance is. Well, that's a significant item right there. Oh, some more. A huge chess piece. Cool. They actually got some significant items. That's good. And a bell. I don't think I've seen that before. A giant bell. The temptation of ring. It, it is strong. The temptation to ring, it is strong. Which I cannot do, unfortunately. Nice chest set. That is a nice chest set. Isn't it? And sandstorms. Nothing here. Moving on. Ooh, bookcases. I wonder how old some of these books are. Hmm, I wonder. Me too. I was wondering the same thing. An old and du an old and dusty wooden dresser. Have I been here before? I can't remember. That sounds like a home. Hmm. Hmm. 
A library sign. Yeah, I had no idea. Forge. And that's the end of the line there. Is there anything else? Like, can I exit this place somewhere else? That would be really nice. We're about to backtrack. Because I don't want to do that. But we're actually pretty close to finding all the clues. Just making sure one more time. Yeah, that's the end of the line. Okay, we gotta backtrack. Okay, farming area here. Look at this. A hay bed. I can't imagine sleeping on this land after night. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. I believe these are called bales of hay. Whoa, I have no idea. A great big roll of hay. Anything else? Yeah, as I said, these castles a lot of times are built up. An adorable little well cover. I checked this all right. Because I can't remember about going down. Because I was spending a lot of time up. Above the surface. Way above the surface. Okay, yeah, I see all that. All right. I don't know if there's anything else of significance. I really don't. Did I check the water? Yeah, nothing up there. Alright. What else can there be? Don't tell me this is the end of the line already. Hey, we... What? What? We haven't even... We haven't even searched all- we haven't finished finding all the clues yet, oh well. Anyways, I'm gonna meet you back on the ship. And we'll decide on the place to go from there. Okay, so... Guess we haven't finished finding all the clues yet. Let's see what's available to us. Hot planet! We must find ourselves a hot planet. <clears throat> Something different, you know. And also... Hot planet. Ah, okay, here's one fiery star. Lunar, scorched, volcanic. Called Water Rosa Grass. Well, it's definitely not watery because it's all fiery. Uh, sure, let's do it. Pretty lone fiery star over there. Now, of course, that EPP is definitely going to help us out because now we can travel to planets that orbit fiery stars and not burn to them. That's nice, isn't it? Uh, let's see. What else? Okay, got furniture, of course, that I don't know where to put it all. Definitely not there. I'll just hang on to them, I guess. I don't know. Oh, just realized. I've had my pixel printer out with me this whole time so I can print and build at the same time when I'm down at my station. Now, let's see, let's see where we are. Okay. Got a fiery planet. I've got a few interesting ones. Is that Scorch Planet? I can't tell. Oof. Let's go to this one. No, no. What did Esther say? They seem to find them vaguely. Okay, volcanic planets. Volcanic. Yeah, that's volcanic. It's not magma. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this one. No, 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 not the ship. Hold on tight. Hold on. Let me finish laying some things away first. You know. You know how it goes. And... Yep, this beam site is situated in volcanic terrain and is exquisitely hot. Your interest in this place certainly displays your dauntless tenacity and it's also got solarium which is something that we need later so i think i'm gonna end the ep i don't know um when i decide to end the episode i'll probably end it just by mining solarium yeah uh i don't know what else i can say about that because well, it's luckily for us that solarium is the last tier of ore you can have and that's actually going to make this our 
strongest armor, second strongest armor in the game, you can say. But we have to be careful. But we'll also be really powerful at the same time. When I say be careful, I mean be careful when traveling on a volcano planet. Okay. Look at this. Ah! I'm hot! I'm on fire! Jesus. What is this place? And I just landed in hot water. Who are you? I mean, lava. You're a, you're a merchant. Cool. This place is dangerous. Camo? Selling it for 2076? It's a nice looking set, is it? Let's buy it. Since he got it. And I'm gonna sell you that. Well, okay. I don't know how you managed to live out here. Man, that's a strong boy. And yeah, that's raiding. It'd be raiding fire here, you know. You know what? And I'm on fire again. Great. Actually, don't hold, let me go back up for a second. I think I under if I if there if I understand correctly, there is actually a way to be immune to fire for a little bit. Burn resistance spray, that's right. Protect your body from burns. We need cryonic extracts. I'm gonna go ahead and make a few of those so I don't burn to death. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself five. Yeah, that's good. And I guess I'll store that arbor piece away. No, 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 not that. This. Alright, burn resistance spray, let's make five. You know, just like you can make poison antidote to be immune to venom um, for a duration, same thing with burn resistance spray, it can be immune to fire. And by the way, yeah. I mentioned this before, poison endo, venom sample, and empty bottles. It's pretty simple. All of which at a medical station. Cool. Alright, now, as I was saying, beam down and hopefully not burn to death, and hopefully we find a glitch settlement. We are on a volcanic planet after all. Okay, how long does this last? Well, quite a bit of time, I guess. Okay. Okay. Oh! Okay, if I dip myself into lava... Then, uh, obviously I'm gonna get the initial, initial hit, initial damage, but I won't actually be damaged by the D. Oh, if you can't tell right now, I'm actually, you remember that Peacekeeper weapon that I bought last episode? Well, I'm using it now. And you can tell, it's actually working really nicely. Look at that range. I love that, I've loved that range, though. What's this place? Let me mine some of that. Wait. Can I mine that? Yeah, I can. Geode. Oh, I got So this is a geode with a little pocket biome. Mini biome. Solarium ore. And yeah. Anyways, I can tell. Wait, where is it? This is what Solarium ore looks like. So you find that underground here on planets orbiting fiery stars. Well, planets such as these, at least. And you find yourself some Solarium. Whoa. That's an interesting sounding boy there. Whoops. Well, I got some, myself some geodes. Cool. A ringing stone. Pretty cool. That's some interesting sounding stuff right there. But you can break them and get some geodes. Is that crafting material? Break this geode to reveal its contents. Geology box. Regiote sample. Geode. Regiote sample. Pretty regiote. And venom sample. Oh, it's like Kate got that before. No, I got that from those little guys. Green geode sample, cobblestone, iron ore, purple geode sample, blue geode sample, 
More cobblestone. More cobblestone. Huh, that's interesting. So I got... Okay, I got blue geo... Okay, yeah, so I got all this. So apparently they're decorative. Huh, okay, that's interesting. But we're getting way too sidetracked right now. And my burn resistance spray is almost out. So we gotta hurry. More med kits. Sweet. Torches. Sweet. Pixels. Sweeter. Toxic boys. Saw blade for the win when I'm out of energy. Okay. But yeah, passing through this geode. Um, ring stone. At this point, just destroy, just just, just destroy all the rain geodes. They just get, they give some pretty interesting stuff, don't they? Okay, I'm just wondering, what is this? Ash pot. Well, that explains a lot. Which is. Which is sensitive to gravity. Wait, what's this? You can eat these or decorate your room with them. I'm going for the first option. Neon melon. Learn to compose us. Learn to neon melon gem. So more food for me. Cool. I like that. Be careful here. Two, three, and I'm burnt. Time. I know I haven't seen anything interesting yet. But... My, my um, Oh, great. And I got some peppers, too. Learn to craft spicy pepper crap. Learn to craft burning onions. And pepper seeds. Which reminds me, I should take some more burn. The burn resistance spray. Yep, I got some neon melon. You know, seeds, chili, chili seeds. Those are some of the last food items I need, which is kind of nice. Right, this place is... Dangerous, man. It's dangerous out here. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, look at this chest. This chest is made for volcanic material. A smoke machine. I don't know, we like our smoke machines. Whoa. Where did that come from? Yeah, I'm not finding anything. No, no glitch settlements, no... Okay, there's something out here. Nope. Not the trees. A Fire Lord's Helm. That's a rare vanity set. Found something. Kind of looks glitch related. It's all underground. That's a tripping hazard right there. Ooh, just. I don't know what I just got there. Oh man, you got range, don't you? Mm. Mm. Steak. Hey, what did I get? Okay, other than those. Summer dress. Oh yeah, I see what I see you want to go, bro, don't you? Uh, you really want to go. Now this place be dangerous, you know. 
Anyways, I think what we just saw back there was a glitch. Something glitch related. I don't know what the heck this is, actually. There is only one way to find out, my friends. I don't think there's any pieces. Yeah, that's what I thought. Only one way to find out. We're going in. These bricks have an unnatural shine because you can go through them. They're secret doors. Yeah, what be down here? Nothing on this side. Aha! What a fine banner. The gold trim makes it look very legal. This confirms something that I had speculated upon. Good. Hmm. Something glitched underground. Not a village, obviously. Hostile? Friendly? Who knows? A basic wind door. Wait a second, is there anything in the water here? It almost looks like a, it's almost like a bandit. It almost looks abandoned. What am I trying to say? Abandoned. Yeah. Of course, it's just going left. We haven't even gone right yet. Music changed for the underground. Oh, a Batong figurine! Where is it? Right there. Look at that. Oh, those figurines are rare. They added to your collections, too. Look at that. Oh, yeah, I also got a Volta figurine a while ago. I don't forget how long ago, but I never got to show you guys because that was off camera, as usual. Something just. Ooh. Okay. Oh, no, I got burned. Cool. Fiery core. That's cool. That's cool. Pretty extensive place, I must say. This candlestick must be worth a pretty penny. It's a dining chair. It's hard and comfortable. Man, that's not a very good time. Fancy banner. This confirms something I had speculated upon. Attract about weak looking shield. Interesting. This will certainly have a bearing on my research. It looks like anatomy diagram. The human. Leonardo da Vinci. I forgot what it was called. I just realized I keep forgetting to check desks. Because I can I can do that. But I can. Ooh, book. Doomed Machines Discovered. That, my friends, is a codex. And as the usual codex, is just pause if need be and look through. There we go. Treasure! Sweet. No, actually, I don't really need this anymore. Oh, speaking of which, I need to make my final upgrade to the matter manipulator. Which, can I do right now? No, I don't have enough right now. Because all, all my manipulator module upgrades are, are somewhere else. They're, they're on the ship, so can't do that. Adele... Can I ring it? Oh. Uh. Oh. He releases enemies. I don't know how long. Probably infinitely. Okay, we're done. Sweet. Keep moving on. Nothing up there. We're so close. Man. We're so close. Ooh. Secret room. Good thing I found that. More treasure. Ooh. Ooh. Lusane's energy whip. Hmm. Rate of fire is pretty slow, though. Uh. Hold on a second. That's actually a nice looking chest there. Treasure barrel. Barrel filled with treasure. Almost a pot of gold. Let's see here. More stuff. Ooh, more Solaria. That's nice. Another secret area. Ooh, look at that. A mobility augment. 
Oh, and that's a really good one. EPP module that boosts your movement jump, movement speed, and jumping power. I like that, but it's probably not what I really want right now. Hmm. Light up something here. There's those torches around. Oh! I forgot there was a thing here. Lava trap. From upstairs. Loops back here. That's cool though. Secret room, of course, as you saw. Moving on. There's always so much to explore here. Moving left. Some more enemies. A chest. Great. Spikes. More spikes. And treasure. I like that. That's good. So yeah, pretty much an abandoned high I mean not high old glitch underground fortress. Yeah. Let's see what else we got. Okay, some more farming equipment. More solarium. Something chasing me. Anything significant here. All right, so I think that's done with the left side of the underground fortress. If we go back to the very first split, Let's see if I can find my way back. Maybe they're already. Yeah. Wait. Uh, a merchant? Paladins, mysterious. They're all really expensive. Oh no, this is this is um a uh, glitch specific. Mysterious. I don't know. What what can I sell to you that I don't need right now? I don't need that, or that, or that, or this, or this either. I don't need any of those things. Yeah, Torch of Violium. I don't know. I don't know. But actually, hold on a second. Let me try. Guess I have the whip with me. I forgot to try it out. Oh, you so it's double-handed. It's pretty far range, actually. And then, oh, that's interesting. Uh, I like my, uh... It's just two-handed, that's the problem, right? And I, I like my shield. I like having the shield out. Right, what? So, yeah. But that's cool. Just cool just to try it out, you know? Alright, let's see what else we got here. A little abandoned cave area. Wait, can I mine those? Oh, you're a strong guy. Yeah, it's just straight up caves. Ashen. And I still haven't finished finding clues yet? Are you serious? So those drop plant fiber. But yeah, nothing significant. There's nothing here. And there... What? There should be more. Okay, there should be way more than that. Because this goes up. Right? This goes back upstairs. Unless I miss something. Alright. Well, I guess, I guess we can just move on with exploring this and... see what else there is to offer. So... 
If I don't see anything interesting, then I'll jump cut until I do. So, I'll be right back. Huh. Okay. So, now the shadow chest. I got a saw hacker and blueprint. Which I already have. I already have a saw hacker. So, that was kind of unnecessary. But okay. Ooh, another chest. Ooh, more solar. I like that. Wait. A shadow person, huh? A dark disguise mask? Well, I'm finding everything! Hold on. Wow, that I look interesting. You're an interesting character, aren't you? A shadow person. Oh, what was that? Her what the? Whoa! Is there, is there raiding meteors? Jesus! There's raiding meteors out here! Everyone get down! And I'm somehow got stuck under here. And at the same time I found a bioluminescent biome. Whoa! Timber! Holy cow! I got stuck out of a meteor shower. What do I get? Oh man. Something's going down. In a bioluminescent biome. On a volcanic planet. They be there be there be meteors. So yeah, here's a bioluminescent biome for you, by the way. Yeah, I kinda know what it looks like. They got snow here. What? I love some of these flower bushes in my garden, but they look too delicate to transplant. Sure. These holy pot flowers are too creepy. Not my kind of thing. Nothing in that chest. Floating trees, how convenient. H how is there snow down here? Floating trees, yeah. H how in the world is there snow? That, that, that doesn't make any sense to me. Flower bushes, floating trees, floating pods. On trees, flowers, you know, all the usual stuff. All the usual. Pretty cool though, blowing trees. Yep, so there's a bioluminescent bio for you. I mean, I've passed through many of these when I'm just, you know, out and about exploring on my own. Another shadow thing related. <sighs> Off camera work, as always. Yeah, bolt bub. I have bolt. Bolt, bolt, whatever you call those things. But yeah, interesting stuff. And now I'm not finding any more glitch related stuff, which I should be. Okay, so I'm down here on another planet. Another volcanic planet, just to see if there's a more possibility of finding some things. I found some sort of interesting foundry area. It also took some food that was related to the chilies. Some sort of food it actually gave me some sort of deep, some sort of buff thorns and immunity to fire from the looks of it. So that's pretty cool. The heat radiating from this liquid inside here is extreme. We can't tell if it's molten metal or lava. Either way, it looks pretty hot. So these are some foundry guys. Really like enormous hammer isn't so bad. Cool. Yeah, but uh, ooh, foundry bed, blueprint, awesome. Where's your foundry bread? Bed. Ah. <clears throat> Hard to say words. Piece of rusted metal. We're still looking for glitch settlements, you know. Hopefully, we'll be able to find some. But if not, that is unfortunate. I'm also kind of stuck in here. But yeah, we be searching for things, and so far I found nothing. What did I just pick up? Smooth plated block, metal coated wood. These are metal trees, eh? Not as I can tell.
But yeah, I'm not fighting a whole lot. It's a really big cliff area. Ooh, more foundry. Beware of heat hazards. This stream of lava is bigger than I am. I am not sure what that does. Mm -hmm. Work at this foundry has given me arms of steel. I'm not someone to mess with. The trees here are a renewable source of organic metal. What a great place for a foundry. Sure. So hot here that my goggles are steaming up. Really, an enormous hammer isn't so hard. Oh, okay. Elevator. Another part to it. Some really interesting stuff going on here. Another sword. Hey. Watch it, okay? I'm, tr I'm trying to work here. Ooh! Foundry light! Another recipe. I'll take that any day. Learn to craft foundry light. So that's nice. I'm still not finding what I'm necessarily looking for. So that's a little unfortunate. Hey, hey. So if I find more interesting stuff, or I find a glitch settlement of, of any kind, I'll let you know. So jump in until then. Found a few more interesting things in this bioluminous biome that I found. Glow bed and glow vine lamp. Have I checked this before? I have. I'm gonna scan it for a minute. Let's learn it. Learn to craft glow bed. Learn to craft glow vine lamp. Moving on. Another again. Another jump cut. As do you. Got myself a dark cape here. That's some of these shadow developments, you can say. I don't know what else. Again, moving on. You know, it's it's really hard to, you know, just find these glitch settlements because you don't know where they're going to be. And there are not a whole lot of um, volcanic plants just to look around and find them. So at this point, I'm just going to do a jump cut until I actually get what I'm looking for. And then I'll meet you. And then, at this point, we're done looking for clues. And uh, we'll just go back to the Ark and finish our mission. So I will be right back. Oh, gosh. Another settlement. Finally. I can finally actually finish this up. You know, just to save this location because it's something I actually haven't really seen before. Let's go ahead and put a flag. There we go. Okay, glitch settlement down here. Let's go ahead and take a look around. Pixels. I was probably gonna breeze through this really quickly. Two sharp swords. People worry, here the else. My theories were correct. Come back to the Ark when you're ready, and I'll tell you where the artifact is being kept, dear. Finally! Oh my gosh! Any bed here? Silky sheets on a harsh bed. I'm gonna go because we are now finally finished with collecting our um, clues. I'll meet you guys all back at the Ark. I mean, at the Ark. Okay, so now we're at the Ark. Let's go finally get our mission covered. Finally. Oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. That last clue has confirmed the location of the glitch artifact. Excellent. Congratulations, dear. Let's go take, wait. So let's take a look at reward. Manipulator module. Sweet. And so where is this place, by any chance? The glitch artifact is in a castle under the care of a certain slightly odd glitch. Would you go to his keep and talk to him, dear? I sure will. Mission obtained. I've received coordinates for the Baron's keep. Use a ship computer to access location. So I shall. But in the next episode, so thank you all for watching this really interestingly and probably long-winded episode. If you enjoyed it, though, why not drop a like down below and let me know how I'm doing. And if you want to see more of my content, why not hit that subscribe button. It'll help out me, and it'll help out you. So once again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I'll see you around.